Janelle and Mike, because this is finals week, students were still on campus. They were at this building. They were inside studying when this happened, which means many of them saw this. Everything about it is absolutely horrible and so incredibly sad. And for this Carlo community, it's something they'll never forget. Everybody was crying. Everybody was upset. It's this fifth floor balcony of the University Commons building where a Carlo University freshman fell from and died a short time later at UPMC Presby. The medical examiner's office identifies him as 19-year-old Dalton Bacco of Westview. A scene so upsetting, the university spokesperson struggles to find words. It's devastating. It's, it's, uh, it's devastating. I've been here 13 years. We've never dealt with anything like this. The university has approximately 2,200 students, including graduate students. And this is finals week, so students were in the library studying when this happened. Everybody was crying. Everybody ran outside. If they weren't already out here, they ran outside. They were comforting their friends that saw it, I know. So I had friends that saw it. I, the first thing I thought of was, like, what can I do for you guys? The president's office is also in this building. It's on the fifth floor where Bacco fell from. I've conversed with him a few times. I've talked to him. He seemed like a very nice guy, very sociable. We are, uh, our, our deepest sympathy goes out to the fr friends and family of this, uh, this student. And uh, the police are handling the investigation. We won't have any other more comment until then. And again, Pittsburgh police are still investigating this, but they say tonight it does not appear this young man's death was accidental or suspicious. Of course, the final cause and manner of death still have yet to be determined by the medical examiner's office. An important final note tonight for students and staff here at Carlo. They do have um, counseling services that are extended tonight. They will also have those counseling services tomorrow and on Friday. Live in Oakland this evening, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.